One, two, ten, 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 one, two, 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 two. Well, that's another emergency dealt with, Sam. Yes, it's a good thing we put that blaze out so quickly. That fire could have really spread. Oh, look! Trevor's setting up the microphone for tonight's karaoke. I'm doing a duet with Mike Flood. We're singing our new song. I'm sure it will be marvelous. <laughs> Do you think you can fix it, Mike? Of course, Bronwyn. I'll just get my tools. What was that? It sounds like dripping water. You must have a leak in your basement. Oh, dear. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. Hi, Penny. OK, team. Today's drill will be rescuing someone from behind a jammed door. Sam, would you like to show Penny and Elvis how it's done? Of course, sir. But first, I'll need a volunteer to be uh, a little old lady stuck in the closet. I need to learn the drill so it can't be me. Me neither. Oh, well, that only leaves you, sir. Will you be the, uh, little old lady in distress? Uh, well, duty calls, eh? Um, of course, of course. Uh, well, I, I'll just get in the closet then, I guess. That leak looks quite serious. Don't worry. I'll fix it at the same time as I do the doorknob. Oh, thanks, Mike. Can I leave it to you? I want to go and see if Trevor has any really great folk songs I can sing on the karaoke. <laughs> of course, Bronwyn. I'm looking forward to singing later myself. Hey, hey Bronwyn, uh, can you grab that bucket behind you? Yeah, that one. Hey, can you put it by the door to stop me getting locked in? OK, Mike. I'll fix the handle later. Thanks, dear. <laughs> Ooh, I like that beat. Ooh, ha, I can practice my music and fix the leak both at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, I can't forget that doorknob. Oh dear. <laughs> Ooh, it's more than a leak now. Water's always dripping down on my customers. Don't worry, Dallas. I'll handle it. Oh, hello, Sam. Day off? Must be nice for some. <laughs> I may be off duty, but I have a very busy day ahead. First, I have to dig my vegetable patch. Then I need to do some ironing. And finally, I've got to paint my front door. So how can I help you, Sam? I was wondering if you sold paintbrushes. I have the best paintbrushes in Potty Pandy. Follow me. Uh, what are you doing, sir? An old fire captain's warning, Cridlington. Ha! You're not that old, sir. I mean, it's an old superstition. Passed down through the years. <clears throat> when the wind blows from the west, a fireman won't get any rest. Be warned if it's a blustery day. Plenty of work is on the way. Hey, that's kind of catchy. Oh, when that wind blows from the west, be sure to wear your blue suede vest. <laughs> Grimlington, it's bad enough that Sam's off duty. The rest of us will need to work twice as hard and be prepared for a really busy day ahead. Yes, sir. Fire Captain Steele, sir. Um, I think this one will work just fine, Dillis. Oh, excellent choice. Now, did I hear you say... You were doing your ironing today? Uh, yes, that's right. Well, I have this new promotion. Summer Meadows, spray as you iron, fragrant clothes refresher. Just watch this. Oh, smells lovely, doesn't it? Take a whiff, Sam. Hmm. Hi, Sarah. Want to come and see something really cool around the back? Uh, okay. Come on, then. Hang on. I'll just find somewhere to leave Nipper. Oh, I think we're lost, Elvis. We're not lost. The dock is this way. That way is the cliffs. No, the cliffs are by those trees. I think you're wrong, Elvis. 
I'm not wrong. In fact, I've never been more right. I know exactly where we're... Whoa! See? I told you we were heading towards the cliffs. Sorry, <laughs> Mike. Ages ago. Excuse me, Fire Captain Steele, but have you seen Elvis? He seems to be missing. Cridlington is missing? Yes. If he doesn't arrive soon, we'll have to cancel the show. We have no singer. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I think it's time to call Fireman Sam. Mike Flood is hanging off a cliff, clinging to a giant guitar? And I thought this would be a quiet night. Tom, this is Sam. We're gonna need some backup. Roger that. <laughs> hold on, Mike! Sam will be here soon! I can't hold on much longer, Elvis! <laughs> Kids, but it's getting late. I think we ought to go home. Oh, please, Mom. Can't we wait just a little longer? Well, we've run out of time. I'll have to send everyone home. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry, but Elvis is not here tonight. So, I'm afraid... I'm afraid there will be a change in tonight's program. I will sing for you. You? Yes, me. After all, firefighters must always be prepared to step up when the public needs them. Are you ready? Of course. Marjorie and I are always ready. Pack your hands and tap your toes. Pick up your helmet and your fire hose. Gonna have a great big celebration. Everybody's dancing at the fire station. Well, Mike, you're safe and sound. In the future, you two need to be a lot more careful. Can you stop here, please, Trevor? Going to feed Wooly again, are you, Norman? That's right, and her lamb. <laughs> uh, you're like a shepherd looking after his flock. All you need now is a sheepdog. Oh, yes. I'd love one of those. <laughs> Shepherds always close the gate behind them. You don't want the sheep to run into the road. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. <sighs> A bottle of it, <gasps> please, Dillis. A bottle of what? <gasps> Milk. Sorry, <laughs> it's these hiccups. I've had them all <gasps> morning. Can't seem to get rid of it. <gasps> them. There's only one cure for hiccups. And that's a big scare. No! I know how to get rid of your hiccups. Let me show you, Elvis. Oh! Well, thank, thank you, Phyllis. The thank you. Th that's enough. Stop! <gasps> that's amazing! They're gone! Works every time! Thanks, Phyllis! <gasps> oh, no! There. Don't you think I'm a good shepherd, Wooly? Uh, Was that a yes or a no? Uh, Sorry, I can't speak sheep. Ah! Stop! Come back! Watch the road! <laughs> Phew! Trevor's right! If I had a sheepdog, I could round you up! Hey, now that's a thought! <laughs> Is that a new training exercise? <laughs> no. Elvis is trying to cure his hiccups. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam, I know 
Radar is a great rescue dog, but I bet he'd make a great sheepdog, too. He's really only trained to be a rescue dog, Norman. Oh, I'll bet Radar can do anything. He's so clever. <laughs> well, has it worked? Yes. That's fantastic. Thanks, Sam. I was, uh, wondering if I could take Radar for a walk. Okay, Norman. I'm sure he'd love that. Just keep him on the leash when there's traffic around. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. See you later. Oh. <gasps> taking Radar up to the fields. I'm going to do some shepherding. Want to come? Okay, I'll just ask Mom. Hello, Norman. Yeah, see you later, dear. I'm just heading over to Newtown for some wood. What about your passenger door? Is it still sticking? Yes, but it, it'll it have to wait. I'll do it when I get back. Hmm. I've decided I'm going to be a shepherd when I grow up. That's why I've brought Radar here. He's going to be my sheepdog. Radar? A sheepdog? Rounding up sheep's not the same as rescuing people. He can do it, I'll show you. Okay, Radar, all you have to do is get Wooly and her lamb into that pen. Go on, mush. You know, sheepy sheepy. Um, run after them, like this. Woof, 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 woof. Radar doesn't understand you. You need to give him a command. I am Mandy. Um, round him up, Radar. You know, rescue. Was close. Whoa! Oh. Dad! Oh, Dad! Oh. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, but I can't get out. Should have fixed that door. You need to call Fireman Sam. Oh no! I've left my phone at home. I know. We'll send Radar. Um, go and get help, Radar. You know we. Sam was right. Radar's a brilliant rescue dog, not a sheep dog at all. Hmm. Radar, what are you doing here? Where's Mandy and Norman? Is something wrong? I better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Norman and Mandy in trouble? Ooh. Radar has come back to the Brutz house by himself. Helen thinks there's been some kind of accident. If I know Radar, it must be serious. Tell Helen to keep Radar there. We're on our way. That was close. I wonder if those sheep have got anything to do with the emergency. Any idea where Mandy and Norman were going, Helen? Mandy said just up to the fields. Radar wants us to follow. I'll take the ambulance. Somebody might be hurt. Mike's fan. <laughs> well done, Radar. You did it. <gasps> My 
Jake! Are you okay? I'm fine, Helen. I just can't get out. The passenger door is still stuck. <laughs> oh, Mike. Okay, everyone, stand far back. Penny, run a hose round to the front of Mike's van in case anything catches fire. We'll have to cut you free, Mike. Penny, fetch the jaws of life. How did it happen? Something to do with a couple of runaway sheep, I would imagine. Yes, I was trying to herd them into their pen. With radar, huh? I said he wasn't a sheepdog. I know. Here, Mike. Give me your hand. Thanks, Sam. Oh, dear. I wish I could make things better. I'd better call the station and warn them about the sheep. Well? Good news. Mike Flood had the emergency, and he's safe now. Good job, Radar, huh? What a <laughs> hero. Sam did say something about runaway sheep. <laughs> hey, sir. My hiccups. They're cured. Mike said I needed a scare. <gasps> 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 to go to the barbecue yet? Not yet, Norman. I've still got one last customer to serve. Oh, hello, Trevor. Hello, Dillis. I bet you can't wait to get a taste of my barbecued sausages. Yeah, I love sausages. Good eye. I hear there's going to be a barbie later. There certainly is, Tom. And Trevor is going to be cooking his famous barbecued sausages. Ah, uh, sausages are good, mate, but I prefer my barbecue king prawns. Bah! King prawns aren't really barbecue food. Not like sausages. Well, they must be pretty good. They're called king prawns. I got a bunger idea. I'll get some king prawns from the Whole Fish Cafe, then I can show you how good they really are. Yes, and we can taste them and see which is best. Trevor's sausages or Tom's king prawns. What? And the winner will be the barbecue champion of Ponty Pandy. Great. See you there. <clears throat> well, I'm not worried. I'm sure my sausages will make me the barbecue champion. Won't they? <laughs> okay, everyone. There's going to be a barbecue in Ponty Pandy today. And Trevor will be cooking his delicious barbecued sausages. Mmm. What? Mmm. So we're going to be going through some basic barbecue safety. What is that noise? I don't know, sir. Actually, I think it's coming from there. I'm sorry, but all this talk about barbecues and sausages is giving me a rumbly tummy. Try and concentrate, Quidlington, and stop thinking about how delicious Trevor's sizzling beauties are Ooh, going to taste. Mm. Sorry, sir. Are the sausages ready yet, Trevor? Oh, not yet, Norman. You're a tad early. I haven't even lit the charcoal yet. He's very hungry, you know. Oh, Trevor, I see you've got an old-fashioned barbie. I always use a gas one myself. Wow! It looks like a spaceship! Oh, I'm sure it looks very nice, but you'll never be barbecue champion cooking on gas. It just doesn't taste the same as food cooked on real charcoal. That's true. It tastes even better. Ha <laughs> ha! Is everyone okay? Oh, Sam, I've never been so petrified. Okay, uh, let's get you back on the road. Um, where's Trevor? He went for help. Such bravery. He left the bus. I'll see if I can reach him. There's no signal. Trevor could be anywhere out there. Elvis, could you attach the tow rope to the bus while I call Tom? Radio, Sam. 
Tom? It's Sam. Trevor Evans is out here somewhere. We're going to need your help to find him. No worries, Sam. But I'm gonna need someone up here with me. You can count on me, Tom. Okay, Sam. We're ready. <laughs> Too bad we haven't got a driver. I've got a dog. A big one, see? Woof! Woof! <laughs> Lion! What are you doing all the way out here? <laughs> there! Look down there! Looks like he's stuck in the bog! Well spotted! Looks like I'm gonna have to lie you down with a double harness, Sam! Ready when you are, Tom! Okay, Trevor? Uh, yes! The lion kept me company. I should have taken everyone's advice and stayed on the bus. Well, at least you're all safe and sound. And it looks like we've caught the wild beast of Ponty Pandy too, eh, Norman? <laughs> Let's go home. Trevor, why don't you have dinner with me? Oh, and Norman. Oh, uh, sounds lovely, Dillis. Mom! I just saw it! The wild bees! Oh, oh. Okay, pretend you are putting out a big fire. I, I, I mean a really big one. Ooh, ah, uh, like this. Hmm, could you maybe put a bit more oomph into it? Get out, fire! Get out! <laughs> That's it. Uh, what about using the fire axe next? I could slide down the pole if you like. <laughs> oh, excellent! Good idea. Ooh, okay then. It's okay. You'll soon be back where you belong. It's time now, Mandy. that it's where it belongs. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day. Fireman Sam, cause he's 